Hi, good morning. Today is Sunday, May 24th, 2020, and I want to do a quick introduction to business law on the web from Mount Wachusett Community College. I have to keep this brief because in order for me to load it up onto YouTube, I believe I have to keep it under 10 minutes. But my name is Jim Corman, and I'll be your instructor for the summer session, Business Law 2020 Online. Uh, I'm very informal by nature, but I think it helps to have a little bit of a in-person sort of presence by putting on short videos, uh, both by way of introduction, but even in terms of content material and uh, summary reviews of the different chapters as we go through. If you'd like that and let me know in an email or a text and say, hey, this is something that I find beneficial or I hate watching these things, let me know. I like feedback because it improves the course over the course of the uh, the year and in future endeavors. I can tell you that this is my very first video. I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to go straight forward and try to push through and uh, the end product will probably be a bit amateurish and um, and not very highly polished. But nonetheless, I want you to get a feel for what I want um, in terms of expected outcomes and uh, what you can expect during the course of the semester. The syllabus is obviously up and you're obviously up on Blackboard so you can review it with the due dates. The first assignment, I believe, is pushed out all the way to June 10th because of the expectation of students having difficulty knowing what the book was and getting it because there's some snafus with our bookstore with regard to uh, previous ordering. So there should still be plenty of time before you um, have to submit your first homework assignment regarding uh, getting the required text. And if there's an issue, I always want you to reach out to me and say, I need an extension because I haven't gotten the book or there's a family emergency or I think my web's going to be down for a period of time. Um, I will certainly work with you with regard to those um, distinct problems that come up during the course of the semester. And that's the same with due dates during the course of the semester. When you read the syllabus, it sounds like I'm a very strict, um, rigid professor when it comes to those due dates. The goal is to be somewhat structured and pace yourself out through the course of the semester. And that's why I put them in there. But I do have some flexibility if emergencies come up. You just have to let me know and I'll be willing to work with you. It's a 10-week semester. It'll fly right by. Um, so I do urge you to keep a pace. You can get a little bit ahead if you want on homework assignments. Not so much quizzes because the quizzes, I believe there'd be nine. I might combine two quizzes. So maybe it'll go down to eight. You do get to drop one of those quiz grades during the course of the semester. Um, I do not put those up too far in advance. I want those paced out during the course of the semester. But all of the homework assignments for each of the different nine modules are already posted. You can look at them in the content section of the Blackboard icons on the left-hand side as you uh, review the page. And so if you want to get a little bit ahead, you can. I don't know if you want to get too far ahead. You'd like to get some feedback on the homework to make sure you're doing well with it before you um, kind of jump in. Uh, neck deep into the material without getting at least some basic feedback of, of, of how you're performing. Other than that, um, um, again, I am Jim Corman. I've been teaching at the Mount for 17 years. I am the chair of legal studies, political science, and history. Um, I am a community college graduate myself. I graduated from Springfield Technical Community College many years ago, went on to Springfield College, got a degree in history there, and then I went on to Western New England Law School, where I earned my Juris Doctorate and became a practicing attorney. I've been a practicing attorney now for 27 years. I still practice law part-time, mostly criminal defense work now, but I have done a lot of transitional work, transactional work, contractual work, business law-related tasks, so I have some familiarity with the actual um, uh, field, if you will. I think that gives me some advantage to instruct in this area. Um, I went back a few years ago, actually, and got a master's degree in history with a focus on American constitutional history. Um, that's sort of just my passion. So um, uh, that's a, a bit about me. I live in Brimfield, Mass. I just moved from Sturbridge, so things are a little chaotic because I moved right in the middle of this whole COVID outbreak. Um, but uh, we're settling in here pretty nice, and I'm hoping that um, you'll find the online experience not nearly as intimidating as I did when I first took an online class. Um, I think the course is fairly well structured. You're going to find professional videos that I post from other producers that I think do a fantastic job in organizing their material and delivering content very well. And again, I'll probably do uh, regular reviews of chapters myself and post these little corny videos about what I think are uh, important with regard to the chapter material. Quizzes are multiple choice um, and essay format. 
I think they're very straightforward. Obviously, open notes, open books, open resources, very kind. It's distance learning, so you have that advantage. But that doesn't mean I don't um, think you're going to benefit greatly by doing the homework and studying the text and the videos and, and other written assignments or, or uh, articles that I might post um, on the Blackboard site. It's asynchronous, meaning you don't have to be online at any specific time. You can, if you like, if you're a you know, night owl and you want to do this in the middle of the night, that's fine. If you want to do it in early morning, that's fine. And there's windows to complete the work. So using assignment will be posted and you'll see it all in the syllabus broken out. Something might be due on June 10th. Another assignment might be due June 15th, 21st, whatever it is. So you'll know and you can pace yourself when you want to. Uh, perform those tasks. When you do your homework assignments, you simply email them to me in a Word document if you can. And if you don't have Word, I prefer you copy and paste the entire content of your homework submission right into your email dialog box. I get oftentimes attachments that I can't open and that's very frustrating both for you and for me. So just get me the assignment in an informal email. Say, hey Jim, here's my homework for this module. Um, give me some feedback when you can. And that's how we do things. And don't ever be afraid to reach out with questions, concerns, or if you want to have a deeper dialogue about some of the material you don't understand, that's what I'm here for. Phone call, email, we can do it either way, whatever's most comfortable. I'm not going to have any live Zoom interactions with you. Um, I do a lot of that for the courts right now. The courts are pretty much closed down and we've been doing some video conferencing and telephone conferences. And we've been doing that at the college as well. I find them very, very exhaustive, very, very difficult. And obviously you'd have to be on at a certain period of time and that's going to be a disadvantage to some students who can't. So it's asynchronous. You don't have to be on any specific time. I want you to have fun with it. I think the book is very straightforward and the materials are, I think, well-written and understandable and digestible. I think the videos will be very helpful that you'll find in the video section. And I'm hoping my summaries that I put up um, each uh, week or every few days uh, will be helpful as well if you like them. So I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes uh, and we're getting close to that uh, time right now, but don't be afraid to reach out with any questions or concerns. And one of the early requests that I already put up on Blackboard is shoot me an email, say I'm on, everything looks like I understand it at this point, and, um, and again, there's no such thing as a dumb question. The only question that's really dumb is the one that wasn't asked because um, you're paying for this and you should feel confident and comfortable um, not having any concerns about um, sort of academic um, safety, feeling very comfortable with having dialogues with me and your cohorts in the class because there's a little bit of discussion board work, which is all outlined in the syllabus. You should have fun with it. And there's no such thing as a dumb question. This is uh, the opportunity to explore and learn about business law and, um, and hopefully get both practical skills and also substantive skills for your later educational endeavors if you have any. But this is a very practical course. I almost wish everybody took business law because the heart and soul of its contract law. When are you in a binding agreement? What are the ramifications for if the other party should breach or fail to perform? What are the ramifications for you if you fail to breach or perform? Are there abilities to get out of an obligation because of mitigating circumstances? And we'll talk about all that through the text and in my little mini lectures that I hope to post. But don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, tomorrow is Memorial Day. I probably won't be online, but knowing my personality, I will probably look at an email. So I'm going to put the course up a couple days early. Um, and uh, don't be afraid to say hello. And welcome aboard and I hope you enjoy this very unusual time even though maybe you are already going to sign up for an online class but that might be the way the future goes a little bit uh, maybe in the fall semester so we may have to get accustomed to online learning and I know I've never been that comfortable in the online setting as a student and so I want to make it as best experience as possible as I can for you knowing what it's like having been a student online as well so we'll see you soon welcome aboard